Shalom, shalom to my uh, Jewish brethren and the Christian people that uh, enjoy following these videos. Uh, I have just finished writing the book Yam Suf, and uh, we're in the editing stage of it. Appreciate the support, those who have been uh, helping us along in this endeavor. Uh, but I, there was something I wanted to share with you that will be in the book, an, an insight that perhaps, uh, uh, as far as I'm aware of, has never been introduced before. And um, it's something, especially for my Jewish brethren, I think that something that we overlooked at the time that it happened and have overlooked it ever since, even in the uh, Christian community. I'd like to take, though, to start with, and I want to read for you from the Christian Bible in the book of John, chapter 8, beginning in verse um, 56. And Jesus is speaking here, and he says, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Uh, of course, the, it goes on to say, Then they took up stones to cast at him. Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, and growing through, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. It's interesting to me to realize that our own Jewish brethren back then recognized who Jesus claimed to be. When he, he for, for one, they said, if you're, you're a man of 50 years old and you said you've seen Abraham. So he claimed to be one of the three that was speaking to Abraham, uh, which it is evident that it was God inside of him that, that this is referring to. It was Hashem. And, but what I find even more fascinating, though, is that uh, when he makes this claim here, then he goes on to claim to be the I Am that spoke to uh, Moshe, or Moses, in the burning bush. Now, there's something, though, that I want my Jewish brethren to really take a look at here before we take the next verse from the Christian Bible. I want to take you back to... Uh, uh, Shemot, which literally means in English, it means the names. Uh, we say in English normally Exodus, the book of Exodus. It's the third chapter. And I'm just going to read this. I'm going to read it in Hebrew and I'll translate it as I go here. It says, Umoshe hayavo et hatzion itro hatano. And Moses uh, was uh, shepherding the sheep of his father in law, uh, Jethro, who was a priest of Midian. Ve'enahag et hatzion acha. Uh, and he, he was driving the flock towards the wilderness, um, and he came to the mountain of God, uh, Horeb. Now, this is the important part I'm really wanting you to notice here, and very common uh, for us to see this there. And he says, in a... And there was an angel of Hashem, uh, the Lord, that appeared to him, Belebat uh, Esh, um, in a flame of fire, Metoch uh, Hasine, in the middle, in the middle of a thorn bush. Okay? And it's saying here that the thorn bush indeed. Uh, was burning in the fire, but the thorn bush was was not consumed or was not eaten. Uh, we may say there. The Yomer Moshe Asurana veira ere et Hamore Hagadol Haze. And Moses says he would turn now aside to look at this great sight. Haze Haze Madua lo Iva Ahasine. You know, um, why why doesn't the bush bush burn? And, of course, the reason we know the bush did not actually burn or consume is because when the scripture speaks here of the Melech, as it says here, Melech uh, Yaho, uh, 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 Adonai, uh, or Hashem, uh, it is the form in which uh, Hashem, the, the, the Almighty God, is making himself known to Moses. It would be the pillar of fire, the Shekinah glory. Uh, but the interesting note here is the form in which God has taken upon himself is of course this the pillar of fire but what's interesting is that the pillar of fire or the form that God is making himself known to Moses is in the midst of a thorn bush and now that may seem simple but 
the reason why I wanted to bring this to your attention is because there was a sign, an open sign given to us in the life of Jesus when he was here on earth when the Roman soldiers took and plaited a crown of thorns. In other words, they formed a crown of thorns and they placed it upon his head and they gave him a reed and they bowed before him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. Now, the Roman soldiers had no idea what they were doing, but it is evident that here Jesus, this Yeshua, is, is uh, claiming, as he says to, uh, to, the, to the Pharisees and Sadducees, that Abraham saw my day and he was glad and they said you're a man under 50 years old and you say you've seen Abraham he said you know but he's but then he tells them he says before Abraham was I am he was claiming to be claiming to be the I am in the middle of the thorn bush and as an evident an outward sign to our own people and if our own people did not see that then we can see it now that here when he was being before being crucified they plated a crown of thorns and they placed it upon his head again it was it was the I am in the middle of the bush the middle of the thorn bush it's, it's amazing what God does to, to put these little insights together for us, to show us an incredible, incredible amount of evidence that is there, that is always right before us of the great I am, the, you know, uh, Jesus, the outward side of Jesus, this was the Son of God. But inside of, of this human body that God used to come down was the Ihaye. It was the I am that was inside of him. And then the crown of thorns was put on his head by the Roman soldiers. Once again, I am was in the middle of the thorn bush. I trust this will bless your heart and your souls. Again, if there's... Um, we will soon have the book coming out. We're in the editing stage of it right now. God bless those that have, have been so kind to support and help us with this endeavor. It is costly. Uh, we don't intend, my wife and I, we, we try to put 25% of our own income towards the ministry. So we're doing everything we can to help this uh, be facilitated. And if there's anything that the Lord would lay on your heart to do to help us in that endeavor, uh, our desire is to get the message that Jesus Christ indeed was the Son of God, the Messiah, Moshiach ben David, to our Jewish brothers. We would greatly appreciate that. God bless you.